Hello, this is Gabriel from Step Jewelry Tools in Chicago. Finally, I decided to make a decent video after so many confusions of people that have no uh, basic uh, video for how to operate the Elma Leak 2000 um, dry watch tester. So I just unboxed this unit, brand new from the box. Um, I connected the AC in the back. It comes with different connections, US, uh, Europe and uh, probably one Asian um, so before I do anything with the unit I need to release by pushing this button here because what they did they vacuum it so the jar will not move which is a smart thing to do take off the wrapping and okay let's see what we can do um, I have two watches here that we're gonna be doing some testing here um so let's start with watch number one uh what we need to do we need to make sure the watch is steady on that uh, platform right here um then we're gonna do adjustment of the bottom tray so we need to make sure that this pin right here will touch the top of the crystal and that's how basically we determine the pressure so as soon as we have some kind of contact, we're gonna lock this in. And now we do have it. So it's touching right the crystal. The next step we need to do, it's just turn the dial to be right on the zero. So right now it shows right in the middle of the zero. Let me just make sure, there we go. It's right straight on the zero. Now we're gonna put the jar on top and we're gonna turn the machine on. Now, as you can see, the dial is not moving to neither side, to the left or to the right. That means there is definite leak in that watch. If the dial stays on zero, um, that's the most definite leak on the watch. So. We can stop that now, I believe five, 10 seconds. Chat will be plenty. And we don't see any movement and it stays on the zero. So we tested this watch as a watch that has a leak, definitely leak inside. So we're gonna press the red button here and take this watch out. And we're gonna perform the same test on different watch. And let's see, now since this watch is slightly thicker, we're gonna need to move the dial to the left and again, point to zero. I'm gonna do the same thing, putting the jar on and turn it on. Now what we see, we actually see the dial going to the left side of it. You can see right here, oops. So the dial is no longer on the zero, keeps moving. That shows the watch is can pretty good ceiling on it. And I'm gonna stop now. And as you see on the blue dial, the dial stays right there and goes on the plus side of the zero. That means there is no leak whatsoever on this watch. Everything seems to be okay. Again, I'm not a watchmaker, but at least I can operate this unit. Um, very simple. Releasing it, the dial goes back to zero and you are good to go. I hope this uh, video can help somehow for your operation of this unit. Thank you and visit www.septools.com. Thanks for watching.